Hey guys, it's Lynn here for Superimposed X and today we're going to talk about the filter tab. In the filter tab, you can find tools to edit the light and colors in the image. To get started, I'm going to create a new session by selecting a photo. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the filter tab. You have six different tools to choose from. Basic, Balance, Colors, Effects, Blur, and Curve. Basic lets you adjust the exposure, brightness, and contrast in the image to make the photo lighter or darker. If you're not happy with the results, you can tap this cross button to remove the effect. Balance lets you adjust the color tones in the image. For example, this photo has very warm tones, so there's a lot of yellow and red. If you would like the photo to have more neutral tones instead, you can bring down the reds and yellows by using these slides. If you want to see the before and after, just hold down this compare button and that will show you the original photo. You can also use the balance tool to create more dramatic color effects. Next we have colors. Here you can adjust the hue to create some fun effects, the saturation to make the colors more or less intense, and also invert one or several colors. In effects, you can add a filter to your photo. You have a total of 63 different filters to choose from, and you can also adjust the strength of the filter by using this slide. In Blur, you can blur the image. And lastly, we have Curve. Here you can adjust points throughout the photo's tonal range. When you haven't made any adjustments to the photo's curve, the line is completely straight like this. The top of the line represents the photo's highlights. The middle of the line represents the photo's midtones, and the bottom lets you adjust the photo's shadows. By making points like these throughout the line, you can adjust the picture's highlights, midtones, and shadows separately. Moving a point downwards will make it darker, and moving it upwards will make it lighter. If you want to brighten the photo and add more contrast, I recommend creating a slight S shape like this. You can also adjust the highlights, midtones, and shadows of an individual color. For example, we can make the highlights in the picture more red and the shadows more blue. And again, you can see the before and after by holding down Compare. Next to Compare is Reset. By tapping Reset, you remove all the edits that you made in the filter section. If you only want to remove one of the effects, then select that tool and tap the cross button. Finally, let's add another layer to see what happens then. In the layer stack viewer, you can choose which layer you would like to add the color effects to. Right now, I have this top layer selected, which means that any edits I make in the filter section will be applied to this layer only, without the background layer being affected. If I select the background layer, I can now edit this part of the image without the top layer being affected. This can be helpful if your layers have different color tones, or if one is darker or lighter than the other, then you can adjust one of the layers so that it matches the other one. You could also blur just the background layer to make it look like the photo is taken with a lower aperture and so that the foreground stands out more. If you would like the effects to be added to both layers at once, you first need to merge the two layers by going into the Layer Stack Viewer, tapping the top layer, and choosing Merge Down. Now you can add effects to the entire project. But keep in mind that you can no longer move around or adjust the different layers individually. That's all for this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X, and if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the Contact Us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye!